and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Singleton Gauntlet. Let's get back to some Singleton Gauntlet. It's back this weekend. This is a real fun event. This, the Gauntlets are where we're going to be playing until we win seven games or lose two in a row, whichever happens first. And the game mode is Singleton, so you can only play one of each card. Um, so far, we've gotten we played three Singleton Gauntlets last weekend. We went. Uh, to the seven wins sorry we played five we got seven wins three times out of the five um and we're gonna be playing another deck here where we're gonna be playing a control deck so we're gonna be playing Lee Sin, karma heimerdinger vi um ezreal you know all these control champions there's ezreal and then also a shen to, to uh round out our six available champions you know gonna be playing a control deck and seeing how that goes um i do have a, a gauntlet playlist now on youtube i have like different playlists i have like a playlist for each region and ranked and my favorite my favorite videos that we've done and there's also a gauntlet playlist so if you, if you want to check uh out the gauntlet playlist if you want to check out the other decks that went uh that had seven wins if you're looking for some singleton gauntlets to play and try to earn that badge um all right so let's play Play some control. Try to win seven before we lose two in a row. Yep, that's this is my dog puppy. <clears throat> and I have two dogs, Puppy and Harvey, and Harvey's right behind me. Puppy's right here. <clears throat> okay, Demacia Freljord. We'll get rid of these two. We'll just keep our two drop, three drop. They're not. Um, not the best blockers as far as 2 drop, 3 drop goes. Oh, I'm using the Noxus board? We should change that. We'll change that after this. How have y'all been liking the gauntlets in the labs? These new, these two new game modes, gauntlet and lab. Have y'all been having fun with them? Uh, let's play a pedal Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Because I figure I'm probably... <laughs> That's a good combo. Gotcha. I'm probably going to cast Get Excited. <clears throat> I don't know. I was thinking it's, I was gonna cast Get Excited to kill Stalking Wolf, so it doesn't just kill my Eye of the Dragon. But honestly, I mean, it's just an Eye of the Dragon. I don't even really even like that card anyway. I guess the problem is I still have this three one that gets a challenge. I need to draw other removal spells. I need like a Static Shock. I need something else. I just don't want to discard these cards. Yeah, definitely looking forward to how they're going to keep evolving them, too. Um, okay, you haven't thought they're too exciting? I was I was real impressed with that lab. I thought that lab was awesome. Um, yeah, like, that's really cool. Yeah, Gauntlet... You know, Singleton's a cool format, but yeah, they could definitely do more than just Singleton. You know, because they just have Singleton and Standard, and... Standard's, of course, pretty meh. I'm gonna grow this Karma. Keep them from being able to kill my Karma easily. Ugh. This has just been all, all, like, super awkward against this... Uh, challenger. Yeah, you know, it gets three one three one when we have three three four three. Very awkward. So I guess I need to get excited, kill Brom. I guess. They grow up so fast. They 
Cool. I wanted to do that before damage because of take heart. Um, I just discarded the the three three that picks up all of our stuff because figured I didn't really want to pick up karma. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Yeah, and then they didn't get the Poro during the, during the combat. I was honestly surprised they didn't get the Poro. I thought they were going to still like with the six of them here. I thought they would just put the Poro on the other end. Sends chills up my spine. Hmm. Could be a good surprise blocker. All the world on one arrow. Bleh. Ice runs in our veins. Well, at least we're getting good spells to Just need the discard, to rummage. Sub Percival! out of 10. My path is clear. An open heart teaches more than open eyes. Now we're at 9. I don't get to play that. Because um, I definitely won't play this as a 5-5. Five five. I don't get to play it. Uh, I, yeah, like I could <clears throat> I could have played Flash of Brilliance and this and the Sub Percival. We'll just wait. We'll have Karma get us a new spell. The frost reveals all to me. All right. So either my Mina Swiftfoot or Shen plus Sub Percival. Um. Doesn't really seem oh, like we need. As it guides all Mina Swiftfoot right now. They'll just replay all their stuff. Oh, sorry. Now we got 10 cards. So now we have Sub Percival turned on. Okay, we're enlightened. That's good for karma. That's good for our 6-6 six, six life steal now. My wisdom is not my No. So so Percival is just um when I'm summoned, draw one, then if you've played at least ten other cards, then grant me plus four plus zero. It doesn't just continually check all the time. It would be a lot better if it continually checked all the time and you could play it as a 1-5 and then later on it would just turn into a 5-5. Five five. It would be much, much better. Um, you'd, yeah, that, card, that card would be played everywhere. Strength in grace, beauty in but day. unfortunately it's not like that. Alright, so now all these spells are double. So now, you know, like we're making two things with Flash of Brilliance, we're making two things with Trail of Evidence. Um... Double Dragon's Rage, but that doesn't seem to be too great. Let's make two things with Flash of Brilliance. <laughs> oh, I guess it's is it, oh, it's just making the same card twice. No, this one made different ones. So I don't know. Um.
Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't ha yeah okay so it doesn't have to make the same. We just hit the double dragon's rage. There is no shelter. What? That shouldn't attack. Tell me where to aim. You gotta believe me. Try me. I lose two things, they lose four things, and I gain six life. Oh, I only have room for one of these. Oh wait, this only does make one. Never mind, I, I cast it twice. I'm so, I'm so used to playing, playing Chumble One. There we go, we cast two of them. All right, get it out of hand. Um, Swiftfoot. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, this game's over. Yes, stun stun does stop judgment, yes. Because it's stunned and they're no longer in combat and judgment says a battling thing bat you know, deals damage to other battling things and they're no longer battling. Strength from within. <laughs> All right, got our first win. First win in the Singleton Gauntlet. Play and control in Singleton. That's good because you get to have like all of the answers, and then you know you just hope you draw the the correct answers. <laughs> but they're all the answers are somewhere in the deck because you know, we have like all the removal spells possible, so they're somewhere in the deck. You just hope you get the right ones at the right time. And I figured that singleton is going to be a slower format because it's going to be, you know, it's going to be more variance and, uh, you know, less power with everything being spread out more. And so that's probably good for control also if it's, if it's a, uh, if your opponent's decks are less powerful and high, higher variance. That's also probably good for control. All right, good night, core deck. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll keep Shen. Shen's a good blocker. And now we're playing Shen Vi again. Now we're just back to playing Shen Vi. Oh, I didn't. I didn't change the board. I just completely forgot about changing the board. Forgot about that. That's good. You won't suffer long. What you looking for? The 
Grenadier is kind of messy. I would prefer to Static Shock and just take out both of those. It must be done. It's just better to play Shen and attack and stuff and do this whole thing with Shen. Okay. You dare. All right, so we'll have Static Shock take out those. We can block Elise with Shen. Boom. Don't want to see transfusion. Transfusion could be a lot of damage. That's just how it is. They have their one of transfusion. That's all right. They have their one of transfusion. That's just a bummer for me. All right, and gonna go thermogenic beam here. Maybe I, maybe that's not need. Maybe I should just go peddler. I was thinking thermogenic beam so that my pickpocket smells like opportunity. Could hit him and create a new spell. Yoink! Yoink! Ooh, withering whale. Um, four or less power cannot damage me. Four or less power. This is four. This is these are four or less. Um. Hmm. Do I? Do I trade that with Vi? I guess. Vi stands for violence. If. You know, if they go straight to attacks, we just trade. If they play something before combat, then I'll be able to Dragon's Rage and kill it, and that would be nice. So I hope they play something before combat. No, puppy, it's not dinner time yet. Puppy thinks it's dinner time just because they went outside a little bit ago. They're asking so much to go outside. Ugh. There's puppy. No, it's not dinner time, though. All right, so they're going just straight to combat, so we're just going to trade. One, two, punch. These dogs act like I've never fed them before in their life. <laughs> um, probably just want to pump up... Let's see. Leeson and Subpercible are both good targets. We're only at three out of seven for Leeson. I'm going to go with the Subpercible... Making that thing an even bigger elusive. I have my orders. No. So with eleven mana. Um, I need to play three more spells before Subpercival. We can go... Uh, Leeson. Mm. 11 mana? Jump Wump, Leeson. And then Mushroom Cloud, give Leeson Challenger. Oh, right. It's not all... That's not how things work. Well. Um, that is not how things work. Hmm. Okay. 
See, so yeah, I was expecting the two cha the two champions to block like that. We're going to give the plus three, plus zero here. And Darius will have one health. And then the Withering Whale will take out Darius and Spiderling. Afterwards. Hopefully. Boo. Well, the good news is that's not them doing three damage to me. Well, there was a little fella asking for me. Good news, yeah, good news that's not them doing three damage to me to level up Darius. I like this concussive palm draw, but this doesn't work. If that didn't work, we'd have concussive palm. Five out of six. All right, so all I gotta do is hit him for eight with Subpersible and also Dragon's Rage with Subpersible, and they're dead. That's all we gotta do. Should probably work. I mean, they could have Vengeance, but that's kind of like a good check to see if they have Vengeance. I think that's about... It. I guess they could have, like, Glimpse Beyond, but I'm pretty sure they already played Glimpse Beyond. I'm pretty sure that was this game of them playing Glimpse Beyond. Um, we could grasp the Undying their own thing if I go there. Uh, so let's go... Let's just go here. Should work. Oh, I guess just grasp the Undying just keeps them alive anyway. Hmm. I should have just done this with Lisa and then. Okay, 2-0. That's kind of a weird last turn. Maybe not maybe not perfect. because uh, I could have played Lee Sin and then played both of my little mushroom clouds and made and leveled up Lee Sin and then also kicked. Uh, but that wouldn't have been lethal, it would have only been four damage. But I would have removed you know, I could have used could use removal on Thrash and everything, but it worked. So all good. Okay. Back to Send them all back. Back to Demacia Freljord. Is this the same person we played against just a little bit ago? Maybe. I wish we were attacking on turn two. I think this may be the same person we just played against. That was two spells, would have been able to play Claws of the Dragon also. That's what it went into play. Which I guess I should have done during their combat. Um, yeah, like I should have just done that during combat. Today's a good one. My shield is yours. Tell 
me mask, secure me tail, start to die. What? Head to the face. Eat up, friend. Excuse you. Oh. You play against some weird stuff in gauntlets. Weird stuff. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops, am I right? My heart and sword yeah. for Demacia. Just gonna put this here. No, this isn't a good attack. Hold fast. But. That block was great for me. That block was great for me. That's so much damage we just dealt. So much damage. And we don't really need to return that boom crew rookie. Um, we'll just do that. I like I like keeping Mushroom Cloud with Lee Sin. Ooh, Standy Nine's good. But I also liked finding the thermogenic beam. Pain is nothing. Garen is super scary. Yeah, we need to just get Garen out of here. I just don't want... I don't want them to have leveled up Garen. I don't want that to be a thing. Why attacks? Spring does not pity winter. So seven mana. Of course I'm ready. Show them what I don't know, like those, that stuff they have over there is really scary. I'm not sneaky, I'm dynamic. And I'm dynamite. <laughs> and if they do end up having frostbite stuff. Yeah, you know, they just need like one frostbite card to stay alive. They go to life. one. Leave no survivors. Playing this right now before Fuck Camp Heller dies. Okay. I'm really glad they didn't block with anything and just took all that damage and then those things just traded the next turn anyway. Really glad they took all that extra damage. Hey, Sheriff. Hello. Alright, 3 and 0 oh in the gauntlet. You get this this cool badge if you get the, if you get the 7 wins in the singleton gauntlet. You get this really cool badge here. Playing against Ionia. Probably over. We haven't really done control stuff yet. You know, like, we haven't... I mean, I guess... Never mind. We did Karma control stuff. Yeah, Karma is definitely control stuff. We did Karma stuff. I was going to say that we haven't done, like, Heimerdinger, but... Still, Karma is definitely control stuff. But yeah, it looks like they got a good late game... A good assortment of late game champions... To match ours. And we'll just have Solitary Monk on turn three. Fight or die. Um, 
You know, I suppose I could go... Probably just play Monk. Leave nothing standing. Um... Okay, new to the game. Well, welcome, welcome. Yeah, this is definitely... Definitely a really fun game. Um, also, so yeah, I do I do the live streaming here. Um, about about five hours a day. Um, and I play usually play four decks every single day. And I do put everything up on the YouTube channel also. So if you want to... Uh, browse through, um, you know, so it's four videos a day, you know, so 120 videos a month of all sorts of different decks. You, know, you can go on over there and, you know, go to the videos tab or go to any specific uh, region. Uh, I have a playlist for every region. So that can give you some, some great ideas uh, to get started. And I hope hope all that helps. Um, but yeah, feel free to while while we're playing here. I mean, I'm I'm here to answer questions, so don't uh, don't be ashamed of any kind of question. Feel free to ask any kind of question that you have uh, while we're playing. All right, I'm gonna just pass turn. This is a great combo that they have the Navori Conspirator plus the Greenglade Elder. That's a pretty great combo. Uh, I like I could bounce the Conspirator so it doesn't, you know, so like theirs isn't a three-three anymore. It doesn't trade with Solitary Monk, but all that does is it lets them just do that combo again with Greenglade Elder and pump these things up even more. The thing about that combo is it is it is quite a bit of mana, and so um, it does take time. And oh, for the, the more time they take, the, winter's claw. the more time I have to set up being the control deck. If I so, I'm just going to, I'm just going to block. Thanks, Mr. Brando. Yeah. Yeah, Puppy is... Yeah, and then Harvey's also down here just, like, begging to be pet. So I'm, like, I'm, with my left hand, I'm petting Harvey right now, too, and Puppy. They're both here just... I'm going to have to go give them food. Usually they eat at 8 p.m. every evening. It's 7.32, so you think they would know that they always eat at 8. Um, give them a snack or something. But they just went outside a little bit ago, and now they are... Uh, They're all over me wanting wanting dinner. They are bumping these things up in their hands. They sure are pump pumping those things up. Oh, gotcha would have been nice to have the previous turn to kill that green blade elder. Ritual of renewal. No greater gift. That's not the best. Um, I guess I'm just going to kill this thing. I don't know. I just want to play something. I'm going to play that. I'm going to play Mushroom Cloud. I'm going to just have this deep meditation cost less mana for next turn. If I waste mana this turn, though, that's not even worth it. Uh, the whole wait till next turn where it could cost two less mana if I have unspent mana anyway. So I'm Maybe I should just cast this Dementation. Yeah, you have 5-7. Let's see. So I go... I have 7 mana right now. Um, bounce that thing. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just bounce this thing. And then I'll, I'll have my 3 mana for next turn for Deep Meditation. Control Wardens. After them? 
After him. After him. A 2 5 is still a good blocker against a 3 2. Probably don't need to attack with the 2 5, though. Probably don't need to attack. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll just let this happen. We can only save three spell mana, so using that down to uh, three. And then I guess I don't have deny available now. I want to save Kempunk Pickpocket because I can create more spells for me. It's a more valuable card than the Patrol Wardens. So they got 29 cards, 28 puff caps. That peddler can do some work. That peddler can do some work. So we're going to go pick you, strike you. Um, so Dragon's Rage here. Uh, it'll okay, I'll strike the enemy Nexus. And that, if it doesn't kill him, the Fountain. All right, so basically all I'm doing is I'm just returning that uh, Trinomir back to their hand. It'll be an 8-4 now. Oh, it did make... I was, I was wondering, yeah, so yeah, Nexus Strike. Yep, we'd make another spell. Great. Create another spell with that Kempunk pickpocket. Awesome. So Percival's at 11 out of 10. That's pretty sweet. Dragon's Rage, Kempunk pickpocket. That's a pretty sweet combo. Um, I'm just gonna cast. Not just cast this. What do we get? Okay, that does nothing. No, that's the card I wanted. All right, we'll take a. On drawing those puff caps. Um, this should just be lethal. Okay, yeah. All right, four zero. Four and zero. Oh. We're over halfway there to our seven wins. Our deck's looking really good. All right, I'm gonna be right back. Sorry. All right, we're gonna Mulligan deny, Mulligan Lee Sin. I'll keep the other two. All the best cards um riot has done a wonderful job of balancing the cards and there there really is um like there there really is like you can kind of play anything kind of thing um the most played deck is noxus like Where noxus is the go, most played I region go. i'm just kind of noxus aggro is a very highly played deck. 
All right, so Protégé is going to be... Hmm. This is kind of tough. Because Protégé can, can challenge either of these and kill them. You know, like, tough which one to stun. But then the, the first blade would be a 4-4, four four, so that's also a problem. Like, they're both problems. No. Okay. Alright. Filling up their food bowls. Sorry. Currently I'm playing uh, Piltover and Zon and Ionia. And we're doing we're doing just a, a different game mode, just a special game mode. Um all right, this is for you, and this is for you. Uh, doing a special game mode called Gauntlet. Another, um, oh, okay, yeah, you're ask, asking there. Is that stats? That's a really good reference to Mobilitics has a stats page that um, has some different stats and everything, and that's a really good... Um, it's a really good Hold fast thing to reference. Sword, I we do what is right. Your attack is obvious. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. I agree. Are the spirits refuge to protect Heimerdinger? And I was hoping, I was hoping for, to have Thermo Giant Beam kill Garen. But that's not going to happen. Garen's going to be a problem. But Heimerdinger is still awesome. Ooh, that could be good. That could be real good. Only I can quell the wind. That could be really good next turn of like blocking Garen. Like it's, I want to get the six six in play. They can block Garen, you know, with the stand united. Okay, I just realized. Okay, good. My mic has been on. I just realized. I don't know if my mic's muted or not. Um, okay, so here's, here's something different. I, <clears throat> I'm not going to attack. Obviously, I have, like, a 3-1 elusive that's a good attack. Like, this 4-1 in, into their 4-1, like, that's not a bad attack. Like, I, I don't have bad attacks. But I also just don't want to, um. Alright, this happens. This is good. Oh, Stand United's gonna flip them though, and then they'll keep they'll keep Garen alive. I basically didn't want them to play stuff after combat. I assume this still counts as striking. It's just striking the barrier, and Garen will level up. But that would be great if it didn't for some reason. But I would assume they should still level up Garen. We must not relent! Alright, Heimerdinger. Upgraded. I fight for the fallen. Mm. 
Not bad. Extend your senses. So probably going to use rummage and discard patrol wardens and deny. If I do cast two mana gotcha, I'll make a two mana turret and I can discard the two mana turret. I play my if I play just a burst speed spell, I can give Lee Sin Challenger and just challenge a challenge one of those things. Dimensions don't determine themselves. I'll see this through. My lands need center your spirit. plus karma this could be pretty nice Not could be pretty nice just gonna let this happen okay tough and then of course I'm gonna try to cast the gotcha and kill the kill the Garen with that Awesome. Now we should be able to get this from here. Heimerdinger is still a pretty ridiculous card. So we should have this from here. Basically, what over looks like. Karma plus Heimerdinger. Conflict is all in the draw four, make two, three ones. Is all in the oh, Lisa, I'm just gonna say conflict is all in the mind all over, all the time. All right, they're four, four, two elusives now. I'll see this through. I will not hold back, Ying Yue. Okay, you've been in my thoughts. Oh, it's rendered. GG's 5 and 0. Oh. We're trying for the 7 0. Oh. Had good records today. Yeah, there's been some good records today. And we hit our we did hit our bonus stream sub goal. Down below we got five subs today. 
So that means that we're going to be playing some bonus games. So after this, we'll play play a few more games. We'll probably just go back and play that Shen Bai deck again. I think that's what we were talking about doing. That deck uh, was a lot of fun to play and uh, also looked pretty strong. And so I think we're going to go back and test that out some more you know, after our 5-0. With it earlier, let's keep these two. Ooh, I love that. Citizen. Turn two patrol wardens. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Um, we're going to key guardian this thing. And then we're going to rummage away the eye of the dragon and... Uh, I guess twin disciplines, I guess. attacking for seven on turn two i don't really have anything else but we're attacking for seven on turn two that's pretty cool no archwin okay well we traded with trade with our six mana spell so they, they still have six cards i have four but then i also have the two in play so basically like we're even on cards and we'll have this three mana draw two to refill If I'm done with the Icefield Archer, I'm uh, I'm frostbiting the three two and then attacking with my three one. Right. See, they did the wrong thing. They that you frost they frostbite the four three, but you'd rather trade. You'd rather if I'm gonna block like this. Don't you want to kill the four three, not the three two? So like they they did it wrong there they blocked with the you know like they should frostbite the three two and then attack and see if i block it in four three that's a little little lesson there Ooh, what's a personal five we are nowhere near uh sub Percival turning into a five five winter is the frail yard's true ruler Six. We're almost there. We're past halfway, so that means almost there. I'll hunt them where they breed. We're just gonna go aggressive. You know, like they're basically tapped out here. We'll just uh, get rid of that thing, put them down to nine. We can go. Oh no! I was gonna get to say we could go straight to attacks again. The next turn, and would like to just get excited. But one drop, they got a blocker. Um, yeah, I'll still go Probably playing Karma this turn. Go Karma this turn. Next turn, I could play Shadow Assassin plus uh, Sub Percival, but that would still only be this would be card number eight, card number nine. It would be one card away from getting the plus four, plus zero. So maybe I have to do something a little bit more. This is kind of crazy having both of these on turn two. And here we are, turn seven. Looks like my opponent gave up. Yeah, I mean, they just gave up. I mean, I guess they could have gotten disconnected right at this point. That's going to be a six and oh. 
All right, so I know I said it's it's win, you play until you win seven or lose two in a row, but the last um, boss that you have, the final boss, when you are six and when you have six wins, it's not just six and zero, oh, but just anytime you have six wins, you only get one shot at the seventh win. So we don't we don't have a, a loss to give. So if we lose. We're just done in six and one. So we gotta gotta finish it up. And I think we're gonna get paired against somebody else with six wins. I think the rest of the pairing is kind of um, they just pair you against somebody else that's similar. I think once you get to the six wins, they try to always pair people with six wins together. And another Demacia Freljord. Three Demacia Freljords. I don't like ke keeping get excited because I don't really want to discard a card right away. Now, this hand is very poor, like, starting with, and I guess I, I wouldn't mind get excited, discard Dragon's Rage if it means that we kill, like, a Lucian or an Ash that we need to. There's a kill in the air. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. Not ideal. They got a good start here. One, two, three. We have a good four, five, six, seven. Oh man, then Ash. All right, their hand was good. This is mercy. Their hand was good. Lucian's at one out of four now. What seems to be the problem? Nothing gets between when? me and my mother. to do that again. Yeah, I think so. I'm basically I'm not playing, you know, just not playing Lisa next turn. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Just when I needed assistance. Getting some extra blockers. This turn we'll be playing like twin disciplines to help protect Heimerdinger and you know maybe retreat or something like that. Well, I'm glad I drew this deny. That came in handy. That came in quite handy. It's a good curve though, Lucian, Ash, Quinn. Yes, you can play Gauntlet with this deck, absolutely. Um, oh, I didn't change. Yep, uh, basically the thing to do is, um, first, okay, first, I didn't change the deck list command. I'm gonna do that, that's where you can go to the deck list there. But on the, on the deck list on the right hand side, there's a place to do copy code and I'll just paste it here. All right, so this is the code. So basically copy this thing seven and then go to your collection and 
in the top of your collection it says import deck when you look at decks and click the import deck and then you know so import that um, and that will let you dimensions don't determine themselves um, that'll let you play this deck Lucian's at two. I do need to be worried about Lucian at two. Nothing escapes my notice. No room for doubt. Lucian's at three now. I don't have a safe way to kill Lucian. Yeah, I don't I don't have I just don't have a safe way to kill Lucian. Try this. I don't, so yeah, we've we've played three gauntlet. We've done we've gotten seven wins with three gauntlet decks, um, with a singleton, and uh, honestly, any of those three recommend. Uh, that. Different people have different. You know, play styles and um, you know, do better with you know, play different decks better. So it's it's kind of uh, you know, which one do you like? I mean, so that we had uh, Shield Wall and Raiding Party and Mega Keg, all of those going seven wins. Um, the Shield Wall and the Raiding Party went seven. Oh, I had the Shield Wall deck. Tons and tons of people said that they got their seven wins with that one. That one was really popular. So that I guess if I had to just choose one deck, I would say that one. But honestly, maybe maybe this one over there. Like I think that playing control in a slower format like this is is really good. And this deck this deck's good. So yeah. Um, I don't believe there is a new bad. No, I think it, it's the same gauntlet. So no, there isn't really any any reward, any extra reward if you got the seven wins on the previous one. No suffering, so we may end it. All right, turn eight. So don't have Swiftfoot available. Man, they have drawn every champion, right? Just not Trindomir yet, I guess. This would be a perfect swift foot turn. Um, hmm. I try to kill this Ash. Good. 
like the attack and frostbite. I want to get rid of that. That's, that's not a very good play playing this blade keeper pre-combat because I have this thing. Oh well. Okay. That thing does have overwhelm. That is a little scary. Not that scary. Not that scary. Thought about putting the Eye of the Dragon over the Wrench Bot to get the, um, to get three health at blocking Ancient Yeti. Oh yes, they're not even. Um. Man, Ancient Yeti getting bounced is not a good feeling. You'll wanna give me some space, promise. I think Swiftfoot just said promise, but that would've been cool if she said promised. I promise. No, so like the the overwhelm does does uh, deal damage through the barrier. Um, so like the A the A two, I would still it would only have to assign two damage to the A two because that's its health, and it could do the other three damage to me. So the barrier doesn't doesn't stop the overwhelm from happening. But there we go, seven O gauntlet, and that was a good win. You know they went one drop. You know, turn one, one drop, and then and then Lucian, and then um, the three mana three three that creates four Demacia, and then Ash, and then Quinn, and then cast four Demacia on turn six. That's a heck of a curve. And then they had you know then they had Garen after that, and then Brom the next turn. You know, so then they had Garen, then Brom. Uh, you know, that's. That's pretty good in Singleton. That's pretty good in Singleton. Um, and we handled it. Uh, we we uh, drew a really clutch deny the turn they cast the four Demacia. That was that was the card that that honestly helped us win that. Like without drawing that deny, we probably don't win that. We probably get ran over because four Demacia would make too large of things. But yep. So now we have four total seven wins. Uh, you know, done this mode at six times and gotten seven wins with four of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, so if you like playing control and control decks are your thing and you wanted to get in on this singleton gauntlet, another fun mode to play, earn these uh, badges. If you haven't earned these badges yet, um, yeah, go get that seven wins. Go go try this deck out. Go play some control. Have fun with Heimerdinger. Um, you know, we had Heimerdinger take over some games. We had Karma take over a game. Um, you know, we, and uh, our other ones did pretty good. We didn't really do anything with Ezreal, um, but we did stuff with all the other champions. Hey, what's up, King? All right, but that's it here for the Singleton Gauntlet with our deck called Total Recall. I know that deck, I, I guess to explain that deck name, I know that doesn't make any sense, Total Recall. But in the Expedition mode, Ionia plus Piltover and Zahn is called Total Recall in the in the uh, Expedition mode. And so that's what I was naming the Singleton decks after. Um, but yeah, that, that name doesn't really make sense, but... Oh, well, we do some recall, I guess. We got retreat. <laughs> All right, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.